Alright, YouTube. So, what am I doing to the WJ now? I am installing a backup camera. And there you go. I put it right above the license plate. License plate's here. That's the back of the WJ. And I got this camera off eBay. Can't remember the seller's name, but it's about, it's like under $10. Now, ten under ten dollars, but if you were to have this installed, it'd probably be a four hundred dollar job because this truck never came with a uh, stock with a camera. So pretty much on the WJ, you uh, pull this piece, plastic piece off. It's got about five bolts here, size eight. Uh, you drill a hole. You drill a hole right in here uh, the kit comes with a drill drill bit that can uh, it's the size of this I know the kit comes with it the camera kit so just use that you'll, you'll have to elongate the hole a little bit more than what that drill bit does just to push that through but it, it'll it'll work um, there was a seal in here and this is my camera wire all I did is I uh, punched the hole through the seal and then I ran the uh, the cable through. I resealed it with uh, liquid tape so that the weathering, you know, the weather doesn't get through the hole that I made. And I ran the uh, wire here and it ended right here. So the long wire, the long camera wire, um, well, I pushed, the, I pushed it through here. I'm gonna run it through the headliner, okay? So I, I used the metal rod to snake it through. And then she ended up right here. Okay, so she snaked through right there. So I had to pull this panel off, this panel off, and the then run it through this rubber grommet. This was hard, okay? So I had to take pull this back, pull this out. So these two came out. And I used a uh, coat hanger. Uh, where's she at? I used the coat hanger. Coat hanger went down in there. I taped the uh, the camera cable end, which was like a yellow yellow uh, end here that it has. I taped it on, and I used lubricant, and I pushed and I pulled it through. And then I used the wire to pull my uh, rear rear tail light cable that I'm using now through as well. It has to get connected, which I'm doing now, connecting those. Uh, on the WJ, I have to find out which one of these are the rear tail light uh, power and ground. Cause you have to tap into that for your camera to, to know when, so the camera knows when to turn on. It's when your lights come on, your rear, your rear light comes on, your rear backup uh, light comes on. So it's been, it's not easy this job. Um, it's doable, but it's not easy. I had to drill this hole and just to run the cable, the camera wire through. But I think with the double DIN conversion, I thought that was going to be hard because you have to customize the dashboard and the AC vents, but the rear cameras is the hardest job I think right now because uh, it's been tough. So I've also pulling off these, this plastic interior panel here from the tailgate. I've, the only thing that happened, I broke this. So I'm going to have to melt that back on. Uh, I'm going to repair it, but I was lucky. That's the only thing that broke. It's usually that break. Something's gonna break on a uh, panel when you're pulling them off, especially as, as old as this is, uh, this truck is. So that happened and every single one of my clips broke, except for this little green one. All of them broke. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. I don't know if I got a little Chrysler um, there's junkyards around here. I think they're closed. I'll try to go to the junkyard this week and find some. But 
even then when I pull it off the, the truck at the junkyard, it, it, it might be, it might break. So not easy people, but I'm getting there. So that's where it's at. Uh, we'll call this part one of the double dim conversion. <laughs> and until then, take care guys.